This is really, really exciting and humbling for us. A couple of months ago when we started thinking about creating a first foundation model for time series, we had a lot of doubt. And during the last weeks, we have been working really hard. It has been very intense. It has been happy, but we have also had some, some stress. So it's a really amazing to see this becoming uh, a reality. And this is only becoming a reality uh, thanks to you thanks to the support of the community, thanks to the users of the open source libraries, and of course, thanks to the wonderful partners that we have made along the way. Thank you to MindsDB for letting us uh, have this event here. Obviously, thanks to our investors who make this financially viable. So thank you for everyone. We're really excited, and let's start. Let's start talking about uncertainty, and uncertainty is a truly intrinsic aspect of our reality. This was supposedly to be the slide at the beginning, which is good. But let, let's, let's jump to the actual talk. So I was talking about uncertainty and about how important uncertainty is. And it, since the beginning of history, we as a species have tried to, to navigate and comprehend uncertainty, unpredictability, and this has been the case from ancient civilizations to the modern research labs at top institutions and top universities. We have strived to really anticipate the future and plan accordingly. And time series research is the systematic approach to unveiling the future. It uses mathematical rigor and technology advancements to try to reduce that uncertainty and help us take better decisions about the unknown future. It enables time series research to forecast and predict very different phenomena, ranging from ocean tides to closing values of the Dow Jones. And this specific data format is, in reality, the DNA of fields such as finance, commerce, energy, and technology. It's the essence of most of what uh, institutional and technological reality is built of. And uh, as it was mentioned before, during the last two years, uh, we have been working in creating the most comprehensive open source time series ecosystem, that it's composed of different libraries that helps uh, practitioners do uh, forecasting pipelines with statistical, machine learning, deep learning models, but it also supports newer advancements like hierarchical reconciliation, on, uh, conformal prediction to quantify certain, certain behaviors of time series. And during that time, we have been blessed with a, a huge support from different uh, community members, both individual and enterprises. Right now, the open source suites and libraries of Nixla are being used in the top companies in the world, like AWS, Zalando, Wayfair, Walmart, Stripe, Nestle, Lyft, and you see, you see some of the logos that we put on the, on, the, on the slides. And during that time, building a state-of-the-art time series software for enterprises, we learned uh, a lot. Uh, we also did a lot of mistakes, obviously. But one particular insight stood out during our conversations with the different practitioners, namely that forecasting is extremely hard, confusing, and expensive. Only a handful a number of companies have the resources available to deploy state-of-the-art uh, pipelines. To deploy, for example, deep learning pipelines, you not only need a machine learning engineer, you need a data scientist, you need DevOps, and you need a whole infrastructure that is very expensive, particularly in these parts of the world, to, to have a, a state-of-the-art forecasting pipeline. At Nixla, we have always liked big problems, but we have also loved big solutions. And that is why today we're extremely excited to showcase for the first time in the world a foundation model for time series data. We're calling it TimeGPT-1 uh, because in, in, in essence, it's a general pre-trained transformer that is uh, building upon a, a big, enormous data sets of time series. It's also clearly a marketing stunt to make some similarities with some companies that are here around the, uh, the, the, the corner. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, but what, what is really exciting is that for the first time, we're paving the path for generative AI 
to disrupt another field, namely temporal tabular uh, data or time series uh, data. So the first challenge that we had is, okay, where do we get this huge amount of data to train uh, a large uh, transformer? So it is known that one of the uh, innovations or one of the strategic decisions that some companies like Anthropic at OpenAI did is that they created their own data set for training by scraping public available data sets in the internet. So we did the same. We went and created a huge amount, a huge database of time series, ranging from different sectors to train uh, our, our models and see how well these uh, pre-trained models perform. So to go into a little bit more detail, what we did is we collected organized data from finance, electricity, web traffic, retail, tourism, IoT, but also healthcare, transportation, and economics, and fed that into one of our own proprietary uh, deep learning models. It's a transformer-based architecture that is learning the different patterns and characteristics of that time series, and then it allows to do zero-shot or n-shot inference in new, in new data. This means the model is able to do forecast and anomaly detection on data that was never seen before without the need of training. This is hugely amazing in our field. It has been done in other fields before, but it is, it is being shown for the first time, at least publicly, uh, uh, as, 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 as a model. So the model, TimeGPT-1 in its beta version, supports currently multivariate uh, predictions. It can take into account more than one series uh, and understand the relationship between those series. It can help with prediction intervals to quantify uncertainty. And it also allows uh, for you, the practitioners, to fine tune that model into your own data set. This is very similar to fine tuning language models into your own uh, corpus of text or corpi of text if it's more. Uh, which is amazing because it gives you the possibility of increasing accuracy based on your domain without the need of training, only fine tuning. And we also support out of the box anomaly detection. In, in a couple of minutes, Azul, uh, my co-founder and CTO, is gonna show you live how to code in a couple of, 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 of lines of code uh, this, this sort of, of applications. She's gonna be coding it live using just an, a text editor, so uh, hopefully uh, we can transmit how easy it, it is. So to go a little bit deep, further into details into how this works, basically you just have to bring your history, your, your, your historic values, and certain events that you think are important, like uh, promotions or certain other data that you think might influence your predictions, like prices or uh, uh, other financial data. And then uh, by simply querying and invoking this pre-trained model, you can get forecast of this novel data set. So, we think this is extremely exciting because in our uh, benchmarks and in the paper that we we're gonna publish, we saw consistently accurate predictions by TimeGPT. More specifically, and we had to include a uh, latest uh, graph, we compared our pre-trained model, which is the bottom line TimeGPT, to other uh, state-of-the-art implementations of time series models, like a, a, a statistical family of models, uh, but also deep learning family of models and also uh, classical uh, uh, boosting trees like the light GBM. And, and all of these models are daily used in production by many different companies across the world. And we wanted to compare, okay, how does TimeGPT perform against this classical way of doing time series in 500,000 series that were not seen by the model? And as you can see, TimeGPT consistently performs across uh, the top three positions against state-of-the-art methods of doing forecasting. The main difference is that you don't have to train, you don't have to code the whole pipeline, and it's orders of magnitude faster because you only pay for the inference, you don't pay for the training. This means that uh, given uh, the GPU uh, infrastructure that we have set up for inference, the latency of the actual predictions is in the millisecond uh, order. Which is, which is amazing for, for time series uh, pipelines. It also means that you can bring your data and fine tune these models to make it even more accurate for your specific data set. And the most exciting part of it is that it really opens the world, uh, the, 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 the door for the world to do this sort of uh, pipelines without machine learning expertise. It is, in one word, simple. 
The only thing that you need to do is really two lines of code after, uh, and to be specific, just one line of code after you have authenticated yourself uh, in our SDK. You can also use other APIs. Uh, we're gonna be announcing some new a a API, uh, some new SDKs. But basically, the only thing that you need to do is pass your data and call the dot forecast method to start predicting and leveraging the power of deep learning uh, models that were until now only available for the biggest companies in the world. So given that predictions are about the future and the time series field is about the future and that we claim that this is making it more accessible for everyone, we made this little slogan or joke that the future is now for everybody. So that's, that's, that's what this is about. Currently we are in private beta. We are working with very few companies and trying to improve the model, understand its uh, limitations, see how it hallucinates, for example, like, like the other uh, uh, big models for other domains. We are very excited and proud to be partnering with companies such as MindCB, OpenBB, and H2O to try and test this technology. And if you are interested or you think your use case could be particularly uh, relevant for this early stage of the private beta, please uh, talk to us or submit your interest at nixla.io. There is a little form there so you can just text that you were here in the event and that you are interested in participating. And we would be extremely happy uh, to help you out. And again, thank you very much for being here and for your support. <laughs>